The Marathas Dayak inhabit the Marathas Mountains of South Kalimantan, Indonesia. The Banjar Kuala people would refer the Marathas people as Urang Baiju or Dayak Baiju, as they consider them to be the same as the Nahu people. While the Banjar Hulu Sungai people would call the Marathas people as Urang Bukit, Dayak Bukit or Dayak Buge. Topic. Naming Topic. A Marathas Dayak's name changes over the course of his or her life. Children have body names Naran Baden that are not usually used after adolescence. When they have children, men and women acquire technonyms Naran Ba. Anak. For a man this name is Ma X or Pa X, where X is the name of one of his children, or sometimes another word. For a woman it is in Duan X or Dun X, depending on which part of the Marathas area she lives in. Older men become Awit X, grandfather of X and older women become Apihx. Topic. Language Topic. Local Marathas Dayak dialects are closely related linguistically to both Indonesian the national language, and to the Banjar language. Most Marathas Dayak can speak Banjar and Indonesian since government administrators conduct business in Indonesian and trade with the Banjar people is conducted in Banjar. Sub-ethnics the Marathas people are divided into several sub-ethnics including Dayak Pitap people Dayak Alai people Dayak Labuhan people Dayak Atiran people Dayak Kiyu people Dayak Juhu people Dayak Hantakan Dayak Bukit people Dayak Labuan Amas people Dayak Loksado Dayak Amandit people Dayak Harakat Dayak Tapan people Dayak Paramasan people Dayak Kayu Tanji people Dayak Bankalan people Dayak Sampanahan people Dayak Riyama Dungan people Dayak Bajuan people Dayak Sembamban Baru people and many more Culture Topic. Dance Topic. Gintor Dada's dance, a ritualistic dance practiced by the Dayak Marathas Halong people to summon ancestral spirits. Patandak, a dance performed to summon ancestral spirits during the Ara Baharan ritual. Topic. Rituals Topic. Era Baharan, a ritual also practiced by the Buddhist majority Dayak Balanghan people to close the paddy farming season after the completion of harvesting the field. Economy Marathas Dayak are primarily farmers, and rice is the main crop. Rice cultivation occurs in Swidens, cleared portions of the forest. Swidens are usually cultivated for a few years, then the forest is allowed to regenerate when the farmers move to a different Swidden location to farm. The farmers may return to a Swidden, although there is usually at least 15 years between leaving and returning to a Swidden. Marathas people also collect forest products and trade with Banjar at markets outside the mountains. In these transactions, Banjar typically act as middlemen between the Marathas and other traders. Social organization Most Marathas live and farm in Umban which are also considered the primary social units among the Marathas Dayak. Umban are founded by a man and a woman, usually a married couple, but sometimes also a brother and sister, a widow and her adult son, or other male-female pairs. Umban also embrace a variety of dependents who have not yet founded their own Umban, including children and recently married, disabled, and widowed adults. The founding pair is responsible for the Umban. Some Marathas have also been moved into villages by government resettlement programs. The Marathas are classified as a semi-nomadic, isolated tribe, and are the target of government development programs as such. 
Topic References Topic Topic Further reading Topic Anna Lowenhaupt Singh 1993, In the Realm of the Diamond Queen, Princeton University Press, ISBN 978-0-691-00051-0